Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today doing part three of this 131 card uh, Pokemon. It's not Pokemon, it's a TCG special. Uh, we've had mostly Pokemon, but um, it's been a really good order, I think. It's been fun to reveal these, for, for me anyway. Definitely some whitening in that corner. We're trying to guess the grades here. Ah, Rowlet and... Alone Executor. Yeah, that corner's gonna kill it. So I'm gonna guess. Man, I think maybe an eight on that one. Oh, I got a nine. Okay, I need this for my uh, hyper rare tag team collection. really good on the back end it looks like an older card man that's really clean on the back Lapras from Fossil I see a little white or a little silvering on the edge the hollow is very clean oh, there's a couple little scratches I'm gonna guess a seven got an eight I think it got an eight because the back of the card is so clean but that's a really good grade for a Lapras vintage Pokemon. All right, magic card. That corner looks a little like it didn't get cut exactly clean. Oh, Gandalf the White. Obviously from Lord of the Rings. I guess a nine. Jim meant ten. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Man, that's really surprising. All right, I'll take I'll take a PSA ten. Nice. That's definitely staying in my collection. This card much cleaner on the back than the Gandalf. Sauron, the lidless eye. That looks stronger. I, I'm going to guess a 10 on that. Extended art on this one too, by the way. Boom. Jim Mint 10. Man, what a great set that was. There it is right there. Lord of the Rings. And another one back there. Alright, another Lord of the Rings card, probably. Uh be a little thick on top ah oh, my favorite card of uh, any of any magic the gathering card by miles my favorite all-time card now this looks off centered looks a little thicker over here than there so i'm gonna guess a nine that is the one ring um just beautiful amazing art who's the artist on that Vili Nystrom. Amazing job there, Mr. Nystrom or Mrs. Nystrom, whoever you are. But I love it. I'm guessing a 9, though, on that one. Oh, Jim at 10 on the One Ring. Extended art. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. All right. feel like there's a little bit of white yeah there's a tiny little white dot down there uh, 
Tyvar the Bellicose. This is a, a halo foil. And it's a mythic, so that's why I graded it. Um, very cool looking card. Um, doesn't mean as much to me as the uh, Lord of the Ring, Lord of the Rings cards, though. Mm. It's off center too, a little bit thicker over here than there. So I'm gonna guess nine. Yep, PSA nine. Pretty cool. Oh, that set is a. Uh, March March of the Machine, I think. Aftermath. That's what it is. AT. Okay. Very much oh uh, yeah, these corners are very worn and it's very thin on this side. So this is I'm looking at PSA seven on the back. Misty's favor. It's definitely thicker on that side. I remember when I bought this card, it was described as near mint, and um, I did get, um, they gave me some money back on the card because it was looked like it had been played in a, in a deck. I would, it was definitely light play. I'm going to guess a seven, a six, yeah. Yeah, excellent, not even near mint. So, yeah, it is a cool full art card, but. Man, I don't know if I'd give it a six. But usually, they've been, if a card has been shuffled in decks like that, they will nail it. All right, this one, I see white, white right there, and it's thin on this side. A little thin on top. Lily's Full Force. I was grading all my lilies in this order, I guess. Definitely thicker on this side. Um, this is from Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, I would be extremely lucky to get eight on this. Ooh, got an eight. Okay. It's a near mint. So I wouldn't say that's two grades better than this Misty. But it is. Definitely some white in that corner and in that corner and there. So this is an older card. Oh. There's definitely a crease right there. Oh, I think I know which card this is. I knew this had a crease. Yes. It is the Umbreon from Neo Discovery. This, yeah, you can see the crease right there. So, the best this could ever get, I think, is a four. It's, the hollow is really clean, too, so it's a shame that this thing got creased. So... Uh, it was probably, if you if not for the crease, probably an eight. But I bought it that way. I saw the crease. I bought it. I just love the art on this card, and the deal was so good. I couldn't pass it up. It's like, hey, I'll grade it. People want this card slabbed. It got the four. Wow. Okay, that's actually a really good four. As far as fours go, this one definitely an older card. There's whitening in some of these edges, like the back. I don't think it can possibly get better than it, like a seven or eight. Wiggly Tough EX. I'm looking for scratches. These these are very tough to get clean because there's so much hollow. The EX card from Hidden Legends. Oh yeah, I see scratches. So I'm gonna guess a six on that. I got a five. And it's a little tough. Five usually means there's like a slight bend or something in the card. That's pretty pretty tough grade on that one. But it's definitely not a mint card. Definitely some white up in that corner, down here. Umbreon GX. Wow, I can't believe I sent that in like that. 
Yeah, this is like an eight. This is a promo. Uh, Sun and Moon promo. A nine. That's unbelievable nine. Yeah, that's a very generous nine. Okay. This one looks very good. Maybe ever so slightly thicker on this side. Gyarados EX from Scarlet Violet. It's not like a hyper rare or anything like that or a uh, illustration rare. It looks good. Can it get a 10? Yes. PSA 10. We haven't had a PSA 10 for a little while, so that's good. We needed one. This one, definitely thinner on top, thicker on the bottom. The Mimic UV Max. This is from Brilliant Stars. I could see this getting a 9. It got the 10. Wow, that's a nice uh, Mimic U. This one, definitely thicker on top. Pretty clean. Dragapult V from Rebel Clash. It would be a, this is either a weak 10 or a strong 9. We got the 9. Yeah, because it is thicker on top. You can definitely tell. Alright. Wow. Centering on the back of this is not good. It's skewed, very thick on the bottom. Edges are nice though. Flareon V, Evolving Skies. Mm, centering does not look good on the front either. I actually could see this getting an eight. Oh, it got a nine. The edges and stuff are so good, they probably had to give it a nine. A little bit of whitening there. But pretty clean and centering is not bad. Doug Trio from the base set, original base set Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good, but it's not a 10, I don't think. A 9. That's not a terrible grade for a rare. It's non hollow, of course, though. So. Alright. Last card from this box. I see a little bit of white on that, that corner up there, but besides that, pretty good. Charmander. Um, this is from the Obsidian Flames. ETB. Now I can see this getting a 9. It looks a little bit off-centered. Jimint 10. I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong because that was a cool card. Alright, let's get our last box. Not put a hole in the wall. Big old thick slabs here. Man, this is a huge order. I haven't done an order this big for a long time. So thank you, PSA, for a really nice special. Yeah, and that just shows you that grading, card grading prices are getting back to where they should be. They're not quite there yet, but they're getting there. Alright. Got Japanese cards started off. That looks better than the other one we tried. Ah, 
Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely whitening in that corner. So I'm going to guess an 8. And the centering's off a little bit. This is a banned card in the, in English. So that's why I graded it. A 9. See, now how did I get a 9 in some of these uh, other cards getting 7s and 8s? <coughs> Metazoo. Didn't think you'd see a Metazoo card getting graded in this video. Did you? A little bit. Ooh. Excuse me. It's late at night, guys. Sorry. Um, thinner on top. Now uh, the Gassiendia. The centering on that is not good. Um, I'm guessing nine on that. This is the first edition. Oh, got a 10. You can be mad at Metazoo, and um, I really hate the, the uh, people that run Metazoo because they owe me money. Um, but the card quality got better and better as, as it went on. And it's actually, Metazoo cards are really easy to grade because the card quality was really good. And you guys know I love the cards. Just don't love the uh, company. The back of that looks perfect. Drapion V. This is an alt art from Crown Zenith. Man, that looks good. Come on, give me a 10. Boom, Jim Mint 10. We need some 10s. All right, good job. Good job. Um, that one is a little bit thinner on this side. Chi Yu EX. This was a local hobby shop find. Um, so maybe we'll get lucky on this one. It looks good um, from Paldean Fates. No, Paldea Evolved. Special illustration rare. Really cool art by Igawa. Can we get a 10? Boom. Nice. I really like when I get special illustration rares as tens. I'm very happy. There's a tiny little white dot down there, and maybe some. I think that's on the case. A little bit of white there. I don't know. This is um, from Paldia Evolved. I'm going to guess a 9 on that one. Jim Mint 10. Okay. A nice little 10 rally going. Now that one looks perfect on the back. Flying, okay. Flying Pikachu VMAX. Um, I've always gotten 10s on these. Very good quality on these cards. Nice centering. And it's a cheap card, but it always sells, too. I love grading these. I'm guessing a 10. Boom. Jim Mint 10. They're, they're like bam, bam, bam. PSA 10s. This one definitely thick on top. And over here. <sighs> I didn't realize that was so off-centered on the back. It is. This is the uh, chase card of Obsidian Flames. Special illustration rare. Charizard EX full art. Ah, oh, they're going to get me on centering. It probably has to be uh, like a nine. <sighs> yeah, it deserves it. It is not a PSA 10. Crap. I love that card. Okay, this one, I see white right there on the edge. But besides that, pretty good. Charizard EX from 151. Man, where did that white come from? Um, I guess a 9 then. Yep. 
another card that I would have never sent it in with a big old white spot like that. I mean, this is a regular EX. I don't think I would have. Um, definitely some whitening on that edge or that corner. A little bit down there too. So, not minty minty. The Gita. I just don't remember so much whitening on these. Obsidian Flames. I mean, they can't get a 10 with that bunch of whitening in the corner. Yep, PSA 9. Centering was there, too. This card. I mean, a tiny little white dot there in that corner. Charizard V-Star. This might be my last chance at getting one of these as a 10. And it looks a little thick over here. This might have been a crack out of me just trying one more try. Yep, nine. Yeah, it's definitely a nine from centering. I never was able to get that one as a 10. I was able to get the other two, but not that one. A lot of whitening in that, that corner, some there some down here um, then on the bottom yeah there's some issues with this one the Rayquaza do we have scratches on the hollow this is from EX Emeralds so old school EX yeah I see a little there is a scratch on the hollow so this and scuffs on the case too that's not gonna detract from the gray but man I think I can clean that off though I'll be lucky to get a seven. But we did get a seven. Okay. That's pretty cool to get an old EX card, buy it raw, and still be able to get a seven on it. All right, we'll do a couple more and then we'll have to end it. We'll have to do a four parter. All right, the back of that looks perfect. Primarina GX. Wow, that looks really strong. From Guardians Rising. That looks like a 10. Ah, 9. Dang. What happened here? I think I, uh, they misgraded me on that one. That one's really good. Alright, one last one. The back of that looks really good. Arcanine EX from Scarlet Violet. Um, it looks like a 10. Jim Mint 10. All right, let's end this part on a 10. And I'll show you really quick the, uh, the standings here. The 10s are still winning, but the 9s are hanging in there strong. All right, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll do one more part later.